gonna do what it does YouTube it's your boy Sleepy Snake with another video today and today guys I started playing 2k19 again and it's been fun it's been live it's been fun I started playing again playing a lot more you see we're going against elite one and a pro one glass cleaner and two-way point forward so these guys kind of sweaty now you know me and my boy Ben Saucy is out here I got my shot rating post score he got his glass I don't know why it makes me play the two but I really want to play the one with this lineup. Uh, but you can just switch. It just depends who you play with. Uh, because I'd rather have him on the glass or because he can rebound more and have me play the one. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. This lineup right here is OP because all I can do is just freaking do post fades and step backs. And he can just get the board. If we don't get the board, we're we're too good at D, so we can just get the we can get the ball back easily. All right, we're out here. Let, I'm gonna talk about uh, how you can play with this build, with this lineup. A lot of people say that you cannot play with a shot range post score uh, in twos and threes. It's really just a ones build, which it is. It is a great ones build. Um, but it's also a great twos build if you know how to play with a post score. Um, if you know how to work a post score, you gotta send your my court or pro arena and practice your moves. You got to practice your post phase, your step backs, your drop steps, your up and unders. You gotta, you gotta practice it all. So you gotta have IQ. You gotta know what you are doing. You can't be predictable. That's what a lot of people can guard post scores. A lot of people can guard post scores because they're 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 predictable. You know, I have I had these guys jumping the whole game. They didn't know what I was gonna do. And you also gotta have patience too gotta have patience all right you see that it did a little post fade i missed then uh he got the board and that's why i have that glass it's for him to get the board i can literally just throw up shots he has such a rebounder on hall of fame 99 rebounding you know he's the pure glass he's gonna get the board most likely okay especially with the smart guy uh the small guy on him the two-way point forward uh He's clearly going to get the board over him. So, I got my guy Ben Saucy setting the screen right there. And you see, he isn't going to cut. I can hit him on the cuts. I can hit him on the mid-ranges or the corner shots, okay? Uh, because I have Dimer on silver with this build. When you hit 99, you get on go, which is kind of LP. Uh, so, you can hit him in the corner in the mid-ranges. Because any, any build can shoot, guys. Any build. A shooting guard 6'8", lockdown, gets a uh, corner specialist on silver, which is insane. Okay, so if you make a seven foot power four glass, um, he would be able to shoot a lot more better than a seven three glass. And he's a seven three glass, and he can shoot pretty fine because I have Dimer on silver, which helps him get greens. But anyway, um, me and him just rotated on everything. That's how we was playing deep. We rotated on everything, and he just got the board board against that glass. You see, <laughs> that's why you have a glass, so he can get the rebound. And we can just get the ball back easy, easy, easy. I can throw my shots. I can play the offense. I'm basically like, I'm basically like the point guard. I'm the stretch on the twos. You know how people usually run a glass cleaner in a stretch. That's what. But uh, I'm basically the score. You know what I'm saying? I am the score. This guy right here, he hits a three. We ain't really worried about it. I wasn't really expecting him to hit a three. He was a two-way point forward, but any bill can shoot. So. We're gonna let this guy shoot. Excuse me. <coughs> Golly, excuse me. We're gonna let this guy shoot again. We're not really ready about it. I cut it right there because uh, some bad things were happening. It was it was terrible. The Elgato started lagging. I don't know why, but we got it back. I got it. I cut that part out. It wasn't a lot, but I got the rest of the gameplay. It's all good. So we're back. We're back on offense. It's 8 8 right now. And he had a little cut. I hit him with the pass. Boom. He gets it down. Now. These guys, I don't know. They seem pretty steady to me. I'm only an amateur three, and uh, Saucy's only uh, a, what elite two. And I expect these guys to green. You see that? I'm telling you, this build is insane. But I expect these guys to be a whole lot more sweatier and harder than usual. These guys were actually pretty bad for being uh, a higher rank, um, especially with me being big. It's so it's so easy going against these other players, even going against glasses or rim protectors. Uh, you just have to pass the ball a lot, and you have to be smart. You can't be predictable, like I said. Like right here, I'm posting them up. I can hit, I could hit Saucy in that corner right there, but I had the small guy on me, so I took the shot, 
he uh, the glass cleaner helped out. I missed it. They got the ball back. So we're gonna play on D, but we ain't really worried about it. We we're just gonna let him shoot that, but he didn't, which is surprising. So I stayed on the glass. I told him to stay on him. We contested it. I couldn't get the board. It's a glass, so he's gonna have that. I jumped. And I've really fall for that, which I really shouldn't. Never jump, guys. That's the number one thing. Do not jump. I hate that when that happens. Do not jump when you're going against a center in the paint. Make sure to just be patient, like I said, and trust me, they would you would get the block and you would be able to play good D. But anyway, you can just put like I'm going off right here at the end. At least I think I am. Yeah, I'm going off right here. I'm posted up. I was like, alright, we're finna win this game. There's no way playing no more. I did a post pin. Oh god, that was nasty. That's actually a lot of people don't know how to do that move. I'm surprised uh, a lot of post scorers, a lot of centers don't know how to do that move. And um, it's so easy. If y'all want to know a little post score tutorial with post pins, I usually make that dunk. I'm surprised I didn't make it right there. But I usually make it. And all I have to do is this. Uh, excuse me. Do a little post skin and just go in especially with that guard right there you can you're gonna make that 90 percent of the time i just had a, a little bad shot i should have made that 2k that's hold me like usual you know how 2k is so it's 10 18 we're looking good right here uh i know we get i know it's good that the point guard cannot guard a glass clearly 290 freaking horse i thought if the game was over right here i come up hit a three green bang like who Nobody can stop 21 to 10. These guys, I expect more from these guys. It wasn't really good. Um, this lineup is pretty OP. All you gotta do is pass the glass. If not, do a little post fade, do a step back, or the glass, your glass will get the rebound. Just have somebody to get the boards and you'll be straight. You can play this build with a guard too, and you can get the rebounds. It's like the shot crane post score is a top five build, top five center build, top five build. And with each position overall, you cannot go with this. You cannot go wrong with this build. You cannot go wrong with this lineup. It is amazing. But other than that, guys, I see you next video. My name is Sleepy Snake, and I am out. Peace. Oh